Triple Frontier. Triple Frontier is a movie starring Ben Affleck, Oscar Isaac, Pedro Pascal, uh, Charlie Han, and uh, Char uh, Char Garrett. No, Garrett Head Headlam and Charlie Hannon. Hanum? Hanum. I don't know. I gotta say people's names. Either way, uh, so this movie, uh, I'll be right before it released, I was hearing some good things about it. Like, oh my god, Netflix got a really good original here. They uh, they did it again. Uh, things like that. So I was excited to see the movie. I got a little more excited because when I first saw the preview, I was like, nah, hmm, interesting. Uh, but then, uh, as I said, the, the, the news of the movie got better and better. So I got more interested in the movie. So... Naturally, uh, when the movie came out, I tried to watch it as quickly as possible, uh, but just, just, just kept forgetting. Um, but two hours, man, two hours plus of a movie is, is a lot, and this movie, it makes you feel like it's a lot. Um, you go through this event with this group of guys, okay, so they're special forces, military dudes that, uh, they, they want money, you know, they need money, it's not that they want money, they're not greedy, crazy guys like that, you see them, uh, you see Oscar Isaac going through and, and recruiting his, his old buddies to help him out with a, uh, problem with the bad guy that's in an area that's hard to deal with, hard to deal in, and things like that, so, but he convinces them, and, that's where our story, our story, our movie really begins. Uh, when they go to South America and they begin to check out this area and then lay out a plan, lay out a plan and Oscar Isaac's slightly telling them the truth uh, the majority of the time. Uh, but there's still, still little details that, you know, he always, he leaves out and, uh, well, you know, it comes back to him, and, and they get upset at him, and still uh, carry through with this plan. And the different characters, uh, they play their roles pretty well. The actors are doing really good at uh, playing these characters of these people who, you know, just, they have lives that they're, they're thinking about, and uh, Ben Affleck has like a family and things like that, that he's constantly thinking about. Uh, Oscar Isaacs kind of wants the money, but also kind of wants to help out the area. Um, and things like that. The, the two brothers, uh, they, one's a um, fighter and he wants, you know, you know, a nice car and, you know, better lives and things like that. And then, you know, just every, in general, just want better lives. Pedro Pascal's character wants better lives and stuff like that. And, um, you know, improvements, cars, uh, you know, houses and their family stability. Who doesn't want that? And I thought to myself immediately, like, how? How do you... Going down there, taking this money and doing all this stuff, but I guess when you're, you know, dealing with that type of stuff, you know how to legally end up obtaining the money. Um, either way, so they go down, and <clears throat> I'm going to get into more spoilers here, because they go down there, and they do the job, and, uh... Yeah, things get messed up, things get hairy, and the movie shows you the long, like, journey they had to take through this jungle area. And they, some of them survive. And it's a good movie, it is. But as I said, it kind of felt like you could feel it. At certain points, I was like, is it coming towards the end? Because this does not seem like a conclusion. How much is left? And then it kept going. I was just like, wow, okay, and then it went again, and more, and, you know, the characters developed properly throughout the movie, but man, I don't know why, I just felt like, I was like, wow, this feels like a long movie, and it felt like a long movie, but I, I didn't really, there wasn't parts of the movie that were like, okay, you could have killed, you didn't need any of this, it was all honestly worth it, uh, it all really helped the story, so the length of time, and the amount of time that they took to tell this story, they, or tell the scenes, show the scenes, building the characters and things like that, they were actually pretty worth it, but it just, it just felt like a long time in the movie. Um, so yeah, once again, as I, getting into spoilers now, um, here's the spoilers. So they go into the house to get the money and things like that, and the characters are ripping open the walls, and they got the minivan filled, and they were talking about trying to get more money into it. And Ben Affleck's character is getting greedier and greedier in a way uh, as this is progressing, as they're built, as they're ripping down walls, trying to find the one, trying to find the bad guy that Oscar Isaac's uh, inevitably hunting down. Uh, but they they look away from it for the for a good portion of the time because they just want to throw bags into the back of the uh, 
the van constantly getting putting money in there and you know his greed was obviously gonna mess him up in the movie Ben Affleck's character the greed was really gonna mess him up and you can tell that as as he's as his friends are looking at each other like really this is not the 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 guy you are and he's making excuses and and just it was just frustrating why you know he would do that but hey you know when you're in the uh, millions and millions of dollars right there in front of you they just you lose your mind a little bit sometimes and then as they keep going they progress they have to they go and they find the bad guy they kill him that was kind of just a mm, there that was that and uh charlie hunnan whatever uh got like shot in the abdomen area and throughout the movie that really messed with me because i was just like yo you just shot shot i heard you could get like a skin uh disease from like having a, a freaking cut in a pond they went through rivers and, and spent very many nights and i guess those clotting kits are really freaking awesome uh but hey that's why they make them to to be able to take a bullet and just go about your week hiking through the woods be perfectly fine because the bullet went through I don't know anatomy and stuff like that like that so maybe maybe but uh so they keep going through they have to deal with some stuff and then the big shocker uh they had when landing a bad helicopter landing in the movie uh they had killed some farmers and stuff like that and this kid kept staring at freaking ben affleck and i was like okay that's just some obvious foreshadowing that that kid is gonna kill one of these guys, and I just, you know, I thought maybe, maybe it would be big Pedro Pascal's character, or the guy that got shot, Charlie, uh, his character, um, or his brother. I didn't think Ben Affleck was going to get shot, but Ben Affleck gets shot and killed, and the kid gets killed, uh, that was the revenge. The big, like, when they were shooting, I knew eventually somebody was going to come shooting and hunting him down. I was just not expecting it to be the kid. Um, like a little bit, I was like, maybe it's the kid, but I, I mostly thought it was going to be like the cart, whatever, cartel type of bad guys, soldiers. I thought it'd be them. Uh, but they were later. And either way, weren't a big threat. There was like a little bit of a warning from that girl that uh, was giving uh, Oscar Isaac all the information about, you know, this is not just... His money, the bad guy's money. This is many people's money. Many people are gonna come after. Ooh, gosh, why am I hiccuping or yawning and all this crap? Whew. Okay, so yeah, it's gonna be many people's money, and I was ex expecting a bunch of that. A bunch of people, you know, maybe they got home, like easily, flying home with all the money, and then the people come and chase them down. Maybe. Ooh, got the hiccups, and uh, so that's gonna be annoying. Uh, and for the characters, you know, all the bad guys are coming in, hunting them down and things like that, uh, at their home, and that would be, like, the kind of the final, like, end of the movie, but no, that wasn't. It was just, uh, they had to get rid of a lot of the money because they could not carry it, um, they had, uh, Ben Affleck's body, they had a rush through a town that was covered in the bad guys, and... They did a lot of shooting and a lot of not shooting, and, and, you know, they survived. I was growing more and more Pedro Pascal's character. I was loving this guy by the end, even more. Like, I liked him at the beginning. I, I was like, okay, he's an interesting character. But I don't know. He was, like, one of my... He was my favorite, I think, by the end of the... By the end of the movie, Pedro Pascal's character was like, yeah, I like that dude. That dude, I like how he acts. And, or, well, <laughs> hey, he started off trying not to do bad stuff, and then by the end, he's just like, yo, when we get to this runway, if... If we gotta, sh I'm shooting people. I am shooting people, and that was that, I was loving that part. Um, so yeah, they make it, and they give all their money to Ben Affleck's family. Um, all that, all the craziness, they did that for just to give the money back to Ben Affleck's money, uh, family. And the t weird like ending where Charlie's uh, Charlie Hunt's character Hanan Hanan's Char Charlie. Hanems, Hanems, I'm sure it's an easy name to pronounce. Either way, his character uh, gives the coordinates to Oscar Isaac for where they had dropped off a large portion of the money 
that they just stashed because they were trying their hardest to make sure that that money didn't get back to the bad guys. So they were they burned the whole house down. They threw some money just fell off into the jungle. They gave it to some drug dealers and stuff like that to make their way through, and then they just lost put some into a cavern. And uh, so they gave the he gave the coordinates to where that was. And kind of giving you like a, oh, they can go back and get the money, you know, type of like, oh, is there a sequel? Um, I don't think this movie needs a sequel, and it's just an ending to a movie. Like, hey, there you go. Maybe, uh, maybe they go back, maybe they don't. But I don't, I don't think it's necessary to show that in a movie. I don't think that's necessary for a sequel. Not every movie needs a sequel. I think this was a good, solid one movie. It was really good. It did a really good job. These characters did a really good job. Would they make a sequel? Probably. But I don't think it's necessary. I think this movie is worth watching. You know, if you got two hours and some change to uh, spare on seeing a really good movie that, you know, just enjoy the movie. I, As I said, I you, you might feel like it's a little long because it, it feels like a little long. But... It, it never, I don't know, I never really felt super bored. I didn't want to just switch it off. So, you know, and there's some shows and movies that came out recently that I've been in the middle of watching was like, no, click, not going to return to that at all. Um, so, yeah, Triple Frontier, is it a good movie? Yeah, I think so. It's worth it. Uh, let me know what you think. What did you think about the video? And uh, make sure you have yourself a great day.